guys, this is Ivan with Overlooking and Team. We're back playing Starbound. Bam. Uh, let me take care of this little bastard. Nah, I just got done doing the live stream. Went well. Went well. I was happy with it. Uh, I mean, the sound was horrific. Nah, because I didn't really do much testing beforehand, which is not like me, but, eh, you know, it's good enough. Good enough. I fixed it and it sounds pretty crappy, but I'll get it right the next time. But it was fun. Good times. Alright, so I know you're wondering, like, hey, Ivan, what's all your crap doing down here? And I'm going to be like, don't be nosy. No, I'll tell you why it's down here. Check it out. Bam, fully customizable shit mod. Yeah, yeah, I was talk kept talking about it. Did it, did it. Look at that, there's the captain's chair. I'll move it here. And I can still use it. Everything is fully customizable, I assume. Can I move you? Totally can move you. Look at that. Go here. But yeah, that's why, because, um, and you know, honestly, I might do a tutorial on how to set up this mod, because it was slightly more complicated with an existing character. Um, but yeah, so I had to have all my stuff on me or on the planet, and then I could, like, take it. So the reason these are here is, well, because, um, you know, I didn't want to lose them and I needed them. But look, check it out. And I've been curious about this, and I'm not ready to do it. Because um, I was kind of going to town on the wildlife here in this planet, trying to get pixels to upgrade my armor and whatnot. But I'm curious if I can fall into the earth. Not sure. Not sure. I'm not ready to try it. If I have like zero pixels, then I might give it a shot. Also, I'm kind of curious about like the flames. You know? Like, do I have to build everything around the flames being there? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, this is literally like the first time that I've kind of been up here mining a little bit so you know what in the spirit of the mod let's start customizing a little bit I got some of the steel blocks from that one structure that I think I told you guys about but never actually showed you which today we're gonna go look at some other structures oh look look it's shaking that means I can't take it hold on let me take these all right let me place you Alright, let me use some dirt so in case this does fall, I can pick it back up. Oh, look at that, I can't pick it up. What is it? Booster flames. Oh, so I can like set where to place them. Sweet. Alright, so let's mod out the ship a little bit. At least get the floor going. Come on, let me place it there. No, can't place it there. Oh, is it because of the flames do they have to go there all right let me try this okay yeah no it has nothing to do with the flames I guess the flames are pretty much optional so since it's a big integral part of that let me put it back in here no where did you go where'd you go booster flame light Quickly, that could cook a burger pretty quickly probably Alright, so let me make sure I don't get that mistaken with a freaking torch. And then throw it away somehow. But yeah, yeah, so... I kept talking about it and I was like, you know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it out as long as it doesn't mess, uh, mess up the game. Then I think it'll be good. And yeah, nothing, nothing was really harmed in the process. But again, I am really curious about what happens if I just walk off the edge. Alright, customizing the ship. But it's kind of weird that it just leaves you... Wait, wait, I don't want to lose my flame. It's kind of weird that it just leaves you this, like, little wooden place. Or wooden ship. Kind of would have appreciated, like, a full-blown starter ship. Alright, get rid of that. Let's put some more... And, you know, let me tell you what this bronze pick... Mining these blocks was a pain. A freaking pain in the ass. Alright. Good. I'm gonna just kind of place the rest of my steel blocks there. Oh, oh. I don't want to lose those because I don't even know how to get those. I don't even know if you can actually get those. Get rid of these. Go away. And that is all the steel I've got. Alright, so of course we gotta have a back booster of some kind. So let's place that back. 
Otherwise, it doesn't really look like a ship, even though it's stagnant and just sitting there. There you go. Semi-futuristic ship. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do. I am going to head over to the structure I found with a chest. And then I kind of called it a day. I've been mining for quite a while. Um, though, let me tell you something about the ship mod. And it makes no sense. But I'm like slightly concerned about what happens with an update, like if all my stuff would be gone. I think the um, safest measure would be like, hey, you know, if there's an update coming, obviously make sure I'm on the uh, Twitter page, which Chucklefish is like super, super um, active in it. And just know that it's coming, you know. Um, if that's the case, then I'll make sure that my character has all his items on him for the most part. But yeah, I mean, they were pretty, pretty good about saying that at least beta-wise, they're not gonna, they're not gonna wipe any ships. So I think I'll be fine for now. So yeah, I'm gonna walk some uh, ways away from here. Oh snap! I thought you were friendly. Ah. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna walk a ways away, and then I will bring you guys back as soon as I get to this um, bridge thing I found. Um. But yeah, yeah. So uh, peace out for now. Oh wait, I thought I might bow out nah damn it all right guys and we are to the bridge Nah. all right so i'm thinking the next couple of days hopefully uh before the next episode i don't know you know it, god the game just came back and honestly i want to put a freaking video up for it every day but the next couple of days i'm gonna try to start improving my ship the problem is is like in the materials that i want obviously i don't want it to be like a house in space, I want it to be kind of futuristic. But see this stuff here? Uh, it takes quite a while to mine. So it's a pain. I gotta get me uh, some better, a better pick. Which is the reason why I was getting all these pixels. I've been kind of nicer as I was running over here you know, to the wildlife. These little guys are douchebags though. Nah. But. Yeah, you know, I've been trying to be pretty crazy active in killing these monsters, but the pixel count is just so much less now. I might actually invest in going into a neighbor planet to see if I can find more of these um, pixel boxes. Speaking of which, here's this. I think I left that one. I think I remember seeing this one. There's a couple of things I think I left because I was walking by... And I was like, ah, oh, well, let me see what's going on, because I had pretty much, pretty much ready to call it a day. So I think I was just, like, walking quickly, and I know I saw a structure, and it has one of those weird little blue chests. So we should see another couple pixel capsules. Let's see that thing. Yep, that thing. Give me that. Yeah, but now it... Well, actually, no, I couldn't even say that. I was going to say, now it seems like the ore is only appropriate to the uh, tool you're trying to repair, but I don't have anything better than uh, bronze. But I did try to... Uh, uh, what was it? Fix one? Uh, I got some help. I was trying to uh, kind of repair a weapon. A uh, copper weapon with with an iron ore because it's all I had at the time and it didn't work ah. so that system might just be completely now dependent ah, got you bastard on the actual ore and, and whatnot oh, I could have just made it out this way all right screw you copper we're on an adventure nah come over here oh weak weak Got you. All right, here's another one, and then we should be finding this chest pretty soon. Glowing. I love this. I found this at night when I really needed one, <clears throat> and it was awesome. I was all lit up for a good long while. It's not a huge long while, but enough to where I can actually put down the flashlight. All right, this thing. So uh, if I remember correctly, this water here is poisonous. So let's take some precautions. 
All right, good enough. What's inside of you? <clears throat> Flares. <clears throat> All right, I haven't seen a flare before. Take it, take it. And of course, we'll take the chest. All right, so we'll take you because you're easy to break. So yeah, I pretty much need a better pick so I can get this thing to fall down. Um, the bridge that I was talking about that you guys saw. And then there's another little structure back there. But it just takes far too long with this bronze or copper pick or whatever you want to call it. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is new. Hello, are you guys friendly? You Apex people are not normally friendly. Hold on. I'm trying to keep my eye on them. I see you, chick. Hmm. Well, you know what? This is what we're going to do, guys. We're going to let them be for now. We're going to let them be, and then... We're going to come back and then say hello. It's not very far from here. Look at him chatting it up. Like, hey, look at that douchebag with his crappy iron armor and stuff. Bastards. But yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to let them be. Uh, we're going to come back and then try to take what's theirs. Something died, so maybe a monster spawned in there. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. I'm good. I'm good, chick. I'm good. Yeah, but we will come back to that on the next episode. Hopefully by then I have something a bit more improved. I'm actually thinking on the next episode I'm going to try to call on the spaceship again. I should have enough bandages to put up a good, decent, long fight. But apparently I read that that is where the molten core comes from. Um, so I really can't make many more improvements on what I have now without that thing. So it might be boss fight time again on the next episode. But yeah, so I hope you guys liked the video. As always, subscribe up top. And peace out.